Hey YouTube, XBMC Nut here. Not feeling too good, but uh, I had my um, Xiaomi Outdoor Modified Motion Sensors open today doing a bit of maintenance, so I wanted to show you how I uh, tricked these up. So what we've got is a standard uh, Xiaomi Zigbee Outdoor, oh, out, it's not outdoor, I've made it outdoor, um, a uh, window door sensor, it's powered by a little um, uh, button battery. And then what I've done is so I've put it inside an IP65 box and um, to make it uh, more sensitive I suppose to the magnet I've done two things. Um, I've just bought a cheap little um, reed switch off AliExpress which I've hot glued in here and I've actually wired that across the reed switch which is inside the Xiaomi sensor because um, I, I wanted the box to be small but I couldn't actually get the, um, the Xiaomi sensor close enough to the edge uh, without compromising the, the um, physical characters of the inside box and possibly um, damaging the waterproofness of it. So um, I've put the uh, the sensor there so that I can have the Xiaomi sensor out of the way. Um, I've got some gel packs in there just to um, uh, try and suck up a bit of moisture because when I uh, deployed this a couple of months ago it was a really, really humid day here in Auckland. Um, like 96% humidity and the trouble is if you trap that humidity inside the box then yeah it, it causes uh, a bit of damage so what I wanted to show you that's the first mod so if I bring that across um, you'll see that my gate icon closed and if I pull that apart it comes back on then my phone very shortly via Synology chat will actually tell me that that gate is opened but if you look at how close I have to get that sensor to the reed switch for it to close and we've got to come the oh, it's actually there we go there's the message it's typically about 20 seconds behind Um, I've actually got to get that pretty cl close. So the other mod that I've done is, I'll pull that away, is I've used a, um, oops, a neodymium magnet. Again, I bought these in from AliExpress. And um, these things are super powerful. Tiny little square neodymium magnet. And all I've done is just hot glue those on to a little base plate and then glue them to the fence. So I've got four of these sensors around the property. And there we go, I get more, more uh, info coming through. So um, if you use a neodymium magnet, um, this is the advantage that you get. If I actually start, slowly start bringing this into the sensor, bang, uh, it's gone off already. So we're probably um, uh, two centimetres or over an inch away from that. And even if I come closer and then come down the side, it's uh, the gate's open there, closed, open there, closed, or come straight on. Um, that's where they're most powerful. If you turn them on their side, they're not as powerful, but you'll find we're still uh, significantly better than the, um, the magnet that comes with the Xiaomi sensor. So coming up here, off, or the gate's open, the gate's open, the gate's closed. So I do recommend uh, upgrading your magnets to these neodymium rare earth ones um, because they will give you a greater distance and stop the sensors from being so touchy, especially when they're used outside. Um, the furthest one I have on my property, I'm using a, um, a Dresden USB key, Zigbee USB key, which is in my garage connected to an Intel Nook. And my, um, my furthest sensor gate is probably... Um, 50 meters, which is what 150 feet away from um, thereabouts, uh, away from the Zigbee USB. But I do have a Xiaomi um, mains powered uh, Zigbee switch in behind the TV cabinet, so um, that acts as a bit of a router. Um, so yeah, there's my little outdoor motion sensors, IP65 case, um, cheap little uh, dual, uh, dual read. Um, just wired in parallel to the existing read and the neodymium magnet and you've got a wireless IP65 rated outdoor sensor. Thanks for watching.